Hello, hello. So today we're going to take a quick, basic look at the DME instrument. It's going to be a nice, easy video, this one. So DME stands for Distance Measuring Equipment. And surprise, surprise, it measures distance. More specifically, though, it measures the slant distance of a plane to a VOR radio station rather than the distance over the ground. This is what I mean. If you imagine our radio station is here and the plane is flying up here, the DME will measure this distance indicated by the yellow line, which will be different to the distance over the ground. The DME can also show us our ground speed relative to the station and show us the time it will take to get there, usually measured in minutes. Let's have a look at how to use it. So we need to look out for a new type of radio station called a VOR. I'll go into more detail about VORs in my next video, but for now, when we look at the map, we want to look for the VOR slash DME icon, which looks like this. A blue hexagon shape surrounded by a square. If you see the hexagon shape by itself, this means that the radio station cannot provide DME measurements. So if we click the icon on the map, we can see that it gives us similar details to an NDB station. It has a specific frequency and a Morse code identifier. So let's note down these details and jump into the plane. Okay, so here we are up in the plane. So the first thing we need to do is tune the radio to the uh, VOR station. So we know that the frequency is 109.2. What we need to do is we need to tune this into our NAV1 radio. So if we look over at the radio stack here, this will be our NAV1 section just here. So we'll change the standby frequency and then make it the active frequency. So tune that down to 109.2 and then make it the active. Okay, now you saw one of the, uh, the kind of lines or the needles here moved uh, quickly. Uh, just ignore that for now, that's something I'll cover in the VOR video. So once we've tuned the frequency in, we need to make sure that we're, can, we're, uh, we're tuned into the correct frequency. So if we just hit the nav1 button on the top of the radio stack here, then we can listen out for the Morse code. Yep, and that's definitely Inverness there. So, now that we've uh, confirmed that we're connected to the correct VOR, um, if we look down here underneath the ADF radio, this is our DME um, sort of radio here. So you can see at the moment it's telling us that we've got 11.7 nautical miles to go until we reach the, um, the VOR and we're flying at a ground speed of 80 knots. Some other aircraft um, will also give you the um, the time it will take to get there, which is usually measured in minutes, but in the Cessna it just gives you the uh, the distance and the speed there. And that's basically how you tune a DME into the uh, correct VOR. And it really is as simple as that. So in my next video we'll look at VOR navigation in more detail, which is a step up from using the ADF, and we will also see how we can use the information from the DME along with the VOR. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll catch you later.